<laughs> Let the sparks fly. Special. Whoever doesn't go to Rain Warriors for the tournament that night will be in London. And tonight I'm kicking off the show big. I'm going to give Omar Robinson a chance to prove himself again here for my militia. As he's about to go one on one with the bulldozer Brody Lee of the connection, but nonetheless, my militia member, Omar Robinson. The heavy hitter of the militia is coming out here. We're gonna see if Omar can pick up the win tonight. Come on, let's go, let's go, Omar. Omar Robinson is my main event militia. And, and by, by the way, what Lance said last week, he, he can think whatever the fuck he wants. The basis of this situation is the fact that I run this damn show now. He doesn't run shit because I am ahead of him on that list. And hell, you know what? He can bitch all he wants. It doesn't make a difference. Me and my militia now are here, and we are running this thing. We're going to keep him out of the loop. As Omar Robinson making his way into the ring here. I said Omar is about to go one on one with the bulldozer, Brody Lee. Wicked shit may come. Precision of my plan. Blood trails of course, took the L a little over a week ago at Revival to Dolph Ziggler. Connections heavy hitter, the bulldozer, Brody Lee. Brody Lee, obviously the biggest member of the connection here, and he's going to look to use that to try to take down Omar Robinson. The fact of the matter is, Brody Lee is better in tag team action. Omar is more of a singles guy, so I'd say my guy has the advantage here. Then again, you look at the success rate of Brody Lee in the past in the connection. And him and DH probably have the best win-loss record out of any connection member. Because the problem overall, Brody Lee probably has the better record. I'm going to be frankly honest here, but Brody Lee probably has the best win-loss record in the connection. Now, Graham, like I said, half those are going to be tag team matches with Dylan Harris. But he has had some singles of success. I will give him that much. He's the freaking bulldozer for a reason. Mr. Cena rings the bell of the first match here in Providence. And like I said, Omar is going to look to him impress here as he lost to Dolph Ziggler. Back at Revival, and Omar is going to look to make short work here. Bulldozer Brody Lee, he's got him right in an inverted figure four. Lee, though, fighting out of it. We've seen a lot of submission wins last week. 
Omar is looking to kick off this week the same way. Ooh, blocks the punch there from the bulldozer. Oh, and a spear. There you go. Get him, Omar. He got this, Robinson. I'm assuming this is, I'm assuming this is we're in Providence, Rhode Island here tonight. Uh, we'll have to see Lance's bitch ass again. Omar there still working over the legs of Brody Lee. Brody Lee now going to counter him with an overhead arm drag. Over the head arm drag. Uh, now Brody Lee with a knee to the spine there of Omar Robinson. Come on, Omar, get up. Oh, Brody Lee with another knee to the back. Let's go, Robinson, regroup. There you go. Brody Lee now runs back in the ring. Oh, Omar went to catch him. Lee counters with a back elbow. Now the bulldozer, what is, what is Brody Lee? Oh, geez. No, oh, running set out powerbomb there from the bulldozer, Brody Lee. Oh, no, and now right into the cross face, right into the arm trap, cross face here, Brody Lee. Play, page right out of the playbook of the Crippler. The former connection leader, the original connection leader, but Omar Robinson fighting out of it. Both of them looking for submission wins here. Now Brody Lee gonna send Omar off the ropes. Went for a clothesline. Omar catches the arm into an arm trap. Uh, hip toss neck breaker. Now Omar down into the cover. One. Let's go, Omar. Speaking of running south, power bombs our main event tonight for number one contendership towards the Rising Star Championship is going to be Adam Astounding going head to head with Austin Aries. The winner of that will move on to Lost in London. And also we will see a rising star champion, Alexander Hammerstone, in action later as well. As well as a tag team match that will involve an opportunity at number one contendership in Lost in London. In London, I should say. Omar right there with bionic elbows as we build towards Lost in London. We are still looking for one more member from Mayhem to be in that Ring Warriors tournament. Now Omar Robinson with the elbows to the chest, of course, already confirmed as El Diablo. And then, of course, Chief Graham from Mayhem. There's the freaking elbows to the head from Omar Robinson. He is taken into the bulldozer. Of course, wreckage will have four minutes as well. And right there, a rolling knee bar from Omar Robinson. Robinson's got him in a rolling knee bar here. Oh, damn it, Brody Lee fought out of it. Omar Robinson, the submission specialist of the militia. No, oh, and a twister plex though from Brody Lee. Oh no, now what is he? No, oh, near a spine. Still, Omar, you got this man. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Come on, Omar, get up. Ah, God damn it. Come on, Omar, get the fuck up. Brody Lee right now has complete control of this match. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me angry, but he, I, I have to admit he has complete control of this match right now. Wait, wait, Omar caught the leg. Oh, right there, this, that's the transition specialist right there, Omar Robinson. Able to pick you apart from any part of the freaking ring. Get him, Omar. Oh, there we go, Omar. Nice. Right into the single leg Boston Crab here. Make Brody Lee submit. Make him tap out. You got this, Omar. Make him tap it up, dude. Brody Lee cannot get to the ropes here. Oh, no. Damn it. Brody Lee fights out. I went to punt him, Omar. Rolls outside the ring. Watch it back, Omar. Brody Lee's coming up on you. Shit. Shit. Oh, he caught the super kick. Let's go, Robinson. You got this, buddy. Oh, shit. Brody Lee fights out. Oh, God. Brody Lee's got him. Bitching Oku driver. Into the damn ropes, too. 
Oh no. Oh no. Omar move. Move Omar. Oh no. Shit. Come on Robinson, get up buddy. Come on Omar, get up, you got this. Kick out Omar. Two. Come on Omar, you gotta get up dude. Brody Lee right now, stretching his back out. Come on Omar, get the fuck up. Brody Lee's tired right now, he's not focused. Watch your back, Omar, watch your back, no! Oh, jeez! Oh, no! Omar, no, don't let him do it, Omar! Oh, shit! Whiplash effect! No! Oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Cover! One, two, three! Oh! Omar kicks out! Come on, get up, Robinson. Brody Lee took too long. He had to drag him out for the cover there. That might have just cost him. Well, it did cost him. What am I kidding? Get up, Omar! Come on, you have a chance here, Robinson. Get up! Oh, shit. Rolling him around the ring here now. Now, right into the cross face. He's got Omar back in the cross face. Omar's gonna be... Hey, yeah, Jesus, he's gonna make Omar pass out. Come on, get up, Robinson. Come on, you can get out of that, Robinson. One, two. Come on, Robinson, get up. Come on, Omar, you're gonna do this one for the militia, man. Fight him off, Omar. Do something. There we go, Omar, get him. Get him, Robinson. Shit. Fuck you, Brody Lee. Come on, Omar, do something. Brody Lee's kicking your ass right now. There you go, Omar. Get him, Robinson. No, oh, diving spear off the top. There you go, get him, Omar. There we go, there we go. And, oh, look at the snap on that thing. Cover, that's it. Count it, Mr. Cena, one. Two, three, yeah! That's what you get, Brody Lee. Got that That's work tonight, end. boy. Wicked shit may come. Precision of my Omar Robinson with the W here tonight for the militia. What you get, Brody Lee? Check out that rolling knee bar again. Right there after the damn knee of Omar. Omar Robinson just shut up the connection here and I thank you Omar. Right there the whiplash effect. Check that out again from Brody Lee. Would have been over there if he didn't take like two years to bring his cover and thankfully he did. And he's riding out and rolling over. I didn't have enough time for Omar to really regain consciousness and kick out. And right here, check out the snap of this. Boom! Suck up. Feels like that Omar got the W. Damn right, son. Good job, Omar. Good job. Omar picking the win back up for the militia here. Yeah, fuck the connection, man. Good, good freaking job, Omar. Good job. Good job. What? What are you? What? Lance, you. No, oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, oh my. What? Oh, hell no. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, he did not just fucking turn heel on me. Omar did not just turn heel on me. He did not just join the freaking connection. Nonetheless, except for one-on-one -on -one action here in the Rising Stars division, 
as we've already got the newest member of the Rising Stars division, Marcus Heraldry, in the ring as he is about to go head to head with Alexander Hammerstone, your current Rising Star champion. Hammerstone, of course, going to be paying very close attention to the match later tonight in the main event, which is going to see who comes out number one contender for his championship in London in just over two weeks. Just over two weeks' time in London on a Thursday night right before Ring Warriors, a few nights before the rest of the, comp the, rest of the competitors from Mayhem are going over to London. The ones that don't make it in the tournament because this year, of course, the Ring Warriors tournament, if I didn't state this already, that, that Ring Warriors pay-per-view is going to be nothing but the tournament. You will see two guys in at least three matches that night. It's going to get people winded real quick. Nonetheless, this is... And Mr. Cena rings the bell. We're going to start this match off here. And Hammerstone going right on the offensive here. Suplex. For once, there's someone that actually can match the power, it looks like, in the Rising Star Division with Hammerstone. Hammerstone right away just insult to injury here. One count. Just trying to get this match over quick. Heldry, the newest addition to the Rising Stars Division. No! Oh, he's not taking exception to that pin there from Hammerstone. Big knee lift from Heldry. And another one. This man from the UK right now. She's going for those big strong strikes. Hammerstone caught him overhead belly to belly. It's the power on display from your Rising Star Champion, Alexander Hammerstone. Now Hammerstone going to send Heldry off the ropes here. And oh, a big face crusher. Jeez, he just rocked Heldry with that. Now Heldry slides back into the ring. Hammerstone misses there. Now Heldry going to take advantage. He has control of Hammerstone. What's he doing here? Oh, jeez. No! She's a big back rack there from Heldry. Now Heldry just stomping on the chest of Hammerstone. These two big men, big men right now are gonna freaking fight this one out. Oh, big shot there from Heldry. Now Heldry, Hel he's gonna throw him off the ropes, we'll put it that way. Now he catches him here with a big power slam. These guys from the UK saying Marcus makes me think of that faggot Jethro. What? Heldry now just wrenching on the neck here of Alexander Hammerstone. Slowing this match down for sure. We normally see fast paced high octane oct action in the Rising Stars division, but this guy right now is just slowing the pace down, that's for sure. So he's using power, which we don't often see in the Rising Stars division. Right now he is taking it to Hammerstone. Hammerstone's not used to getting overpowered like this, especially. He's not used to fighting someone this size either, and a big knee drop there from Heldry. We went to stomp him again. Hammerstone moves out the way. Hammerstone's caught him. No, oh, and another suplex from Hammerstone. Now Hammerstone regained control. He's just been suplexing Heldry a clear across the ring this whole match. I went to punt him in the ribs. Heldry moves out of the way. Went for another discus elbow. Now Hammerstone gonna send him into the corner. Oh, now Hammerstone gonna whip him into the opposite corner here. This vintage strike from Hammerstone, but Heldry moves out of the way. Oh, now Hammerstone counters. Big overhead, belly to belly, toss again. He's tossing Heldry around the power from Hammerstone, dude. One, two. I think that was a two count, that was close. Oh, now Hammerstone just gonna continue the onslaught though. Elbows to the face. Of course, the non-padded elbow gonna cause more damage. Hammerstone knows that much, so he uses that one. Very smart there from Hammerstone, but now Hammerstone's calling up Heldry. Uh, what is Hammer doing? Oh, big cross body from the middle rope. Well, he leaped up onto the top rope to do it. Nice move there from Hammerstone, showcasing a bit of his athleticism. Now Hammer, he's got him up looking for a bit of a stone breaker here. No, oh, stone breaker to Heldry. Now he rolls over Marcus Heldry. What is he doing now? Just drags him out to the center of the ring. Hammerstone, oh, just picking up Art Heldry right now. This big man is about to get laid out here. Hammerstone can possibly lift him up here. We're about to see if he, oh God, I think he, 
He's got him up and nightmare pendulum from Hammerstone. Right into the cover. One, two, three. And just like that, Alexander Hammerstone with an impressive win here tonight. Now you've got to ask yourself, what the hell is Adam Astounding and Austin Aries thinking after that display there from Hammerstone? Someone that finally matches the size and Hammerstone's actually possibly bigger than Hammerstone. And Hammerstone's just tossing him around like a freaking rag doll. Just shows you the sheer size and power that Alexander Hammerstone brings to the Rising Stars division. But right there, the Stonebreaker from Hammerstone. And then we finish him off with the ever dominating Nightmare Pendulum. And that would get Hammerstone the win. I'm sure Heldry's wishing, wishing he was back in the UK right now at this point. And now Hammerstone, all he has to do is set and wait and see who wins in tonight's main event between Adam Astounding and Austin Aries. The winner of that will move on to London here in just two weeks to face Hammerstone for the Rising Star Championship. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. First that shit, and then we get a good match with Hammerstone. But, but now after after my after Omar freaking turns on me, he makes the lands. I don't know what the hell lands offered him. And after and now after Omar turns on me, I have to deal with this shithead. You freaking hit me out. Why am I kidding these shitheads? Fuck you, boy, Ray. First off, and then what the fuck are you even doing here still? You fucking idiot. Hey, does he not understand that he does not work here now? He does not do anything with Mayhem now. He's just here to be a pain in the ass. So he's here going, fuck you, bully lady, you fat son of a bitch. Fuck you. Fucking idiots. <laughs> the big guy, he's done it now, but the big guy is still in the brace. I'm not sure what the hell he's doing out here, but is he going to fight him in a fucking brace? PBG, I'm not sure that's a smart idea, man. Wait, oh shit. The big guy is back and it's feeding time, stupid! Looks like the big guy's back in full health and Bully Ray cannot believe it! The big guy! The big guy has removed his brace and everything! Done told you you are gonna get got, Bully Ray! I think the big guy done told you too! Oh, jeez! And now the big guy's whooping your ass for it! Get him, TBG! Get him, big guy! And there you go, sitting him off the road, stupid! Hell, this idiot thinking, man. Wants to mess with the big guy. Wants to mess with me and the big guy. What the hell is he thinking? Oh, and now Bully Ray with control. Oh, that Bully Ray with a big knee lift. Oh, and an overhand chop, and now Bully Ray. Bully Ray is taking control of this. Oh! Boo! 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 Fuck you, Bully Ray! Fuck you, Bully Ray! Oh, come on, now raking the eyes of the big guy is Bully Ray! Oh, but the big guy firing back on all cylinders here! The big guy! Oh, has regained control of this match. TBG is fired up, man. Stupid. Tossing big guy. The big guy has laid out Bully Ray. Oh, jeez, kick to the spine. Bully Ray's getting back up, though. Oh, my God. No, oh, I'm going to go ahead and make it official now, I think. I think the big guy wants his rematch in London. No, and I think the big guy is going to get that. 
as he is dominating Bully Ray right now. Oh jeez, here we go, the shoulder switch. Oh, oh Jesus. Holy hell. The big guy right now is in firm control. This one, feed him, horse. The big guy is fired up and, oh, meat hook. Fucking meat hook, man. Oh man, here we go, the big guy leg drop. Oh, oh stupid. Hell yeah, TBG, get him. Finish it. Oh shit, Bully Ray's scared. He's scared shitless right now. That serves him right, you fat bitch. It's time to finish it. Oh man. P2S2, the blonde bombshell shock. And if that wasn't enough, the big guy's going to the top. Oh, a splash off the top. Stupid. I'm pretty sure the big guy just made a statement here. Oh my god, he's even celebrating now. What the hell? Is this some of the new women talent? What the fuck? The big guy's got hookers, uh, nonetheless, the big guy! Holy shit, he wants Bully Ray and he's fired up, dude! Set for tag team action as we're about to get the return of the Young Bucks as they will be going head to head with the Lucha Legends here, Buelo and Vaquero, who picked up a huge win last week against Flight Risk. Nonetheless, uh, the winners of this match will move on to London here in just two short weeks to go head to head with the winners of our match next week, which will be contested in the main event of Mayhem, presumably, which will be the Welcome to Hell Nation and the former tag champs, Lee and Harris. Of course, the Young Bucks, it's been a while since we've seen them. Uh, last time we were across seas over in England, uh, let's just say Kenny forgot to uh, pick them up to go to the airport and well the Bucks missed their flight and uh, well now they're just now getting back. So nice going Kenny. Kenny better tell me sorry but nonetheless out here comes the young Bucks Matt and Nick Jackson back on the Mayhem roster here in Providence, Rhode Island. Wasn't too far from, uh, from uh, London. Yeah, they could have just stayed over in London, frankly, if they win these matches. Nonetheless, the Young Bucks make their way down to the ring here. Matt Jackson on the right, Nick Jackson on the left. I don't think I have to explain to you who the Young Bucks are. They're former three-time tag team champions in the UWA. Three-time NXT tag champs, to be exact. Is the Young Bucks, and they're going to look to impress here on their return to in-ring action. We're going to see what they can do. Of course, the Young Bucks mixed with Kenny Omega equals the Elite. Kenny Omega will be in action next as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the new Pure Mayhem champion, Randy Orton. Orton will be defending his title, of course, in London, the Pure Mayhem Championship. And both these two going to lock up Matt Jackson with the advantage on Boilo Corridor. Snaps him down to the mat here. Matt and Nick doesn't look like they could have, they've missed a step here. They must have been wrestling in England or something. Kip out there, out of the head scissors from Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson with a punch to the face of Boilo Corridor. You don't often see too much chain wrestling in a tag team match, but we're getting some here. And, oh, and Matt Jackson thrusting the hips here. A bit of a ravishing neck breaker there from Matt Jackson. Now Matt can attack out. In comes his brother Nick. Surprised they didn't too sweet each other for the tag. Oh, big body toss, big body slam there from Matt Jackson. Now Nick gonna drag him out towards the center of the ring here. And Nick Jackson, handspring, moonsault there from Nick Jackson. The Young Bucks right now are in firm control of Boilo Corridor. Young Bucks trying to get back in that tag titles picture. The tag titles currently held by the Revival. I know damn well the Elite's not too big on the Revival. 
Nick Jackson calling up Buelo Corridor here. Drop kick to the face, more or less. Springboard drop kick to the face there of Buelo. And the Bucks right now are just in firm control on Buelo Corridor. One. One count. Macuero cheering on his tag team partner, trying to get Buelo and the crowd rallied behind Buelo here. But Nick Jackson and Nick and Matt right now are just taking it to Buelo Corridor. Like I said, haven't let up since the bell rung. Now Nick springboards off the ropes, moonsault. Nick and Matt are just dominating this match. Who went to stomp Buelo, Buelo rolls out the way. Nick gonna keep control though, sends him into the corner. Nick Jackson now spins him around, kick to the midsection. Ooh, went for the chop, Buelo blocks the chop though. Now Buelo parallel snapmare, kick to the face. That's what Buelo needed. Oh, and now a kick to the back. Buelo Corridor now has the opportunity to tag out, and he does. In comes Vaquero Del Celio. Oh, big headbutt there from Buelo. Now Buelo sends Nick to, oh, what? Oh, and Buelo on his feet, and oh. Oh, nice head scissors there from Buelo Corridor. Nice maneuver there from Buelo. Oh, Nick Jackson took exception to that. And he just drills Buelo off the damn road. So now, corkscrew neck breaker to Vaquero. Now Nick Jackson's had enough of this shit. And he tags out, in comes Matt. Now Matt Jackson's in the ring here with Vaquero. Matt Jackson gonna send Vaquero off the ropes here. And hip toss neck breaker there from Matt Jackson. Vuelo is angry now too. Oh, and Vuelo just broke up Matt Jackson's move there. Are you kidding me? These teams are getting uh, violent here. Both these teams want to win this. Oh, and now Matt Jackson with a page out of the playbook of Aquero. Oh, man, this is getting personal real quick here. Stomp the arm there from Matt Jackson. Oh, one half the Young Bucks right now, and Matt Jackson in complete control once again of the Lucha Legends. Oh, and just putting him in the ribs there. It's Matt Jackson just beating down Vaquero Del Celio. Right now, Vaquero counters with a jawbreaker. Vaquero, oh, went for the super, super kick! Oh, man, Vaquero just done one of uh, the Bucks' uh, go-to things there with a super kick handstand leg drop there from Vaquero. A bit of a spiral leg drop. Now Vaquero, what is Vaquero doing now? Dragging Matt Jackson out towards the center. Matt's got to be pissed. He just hit him with a super kick. And now, no, big splash from Vaquero. Now speaking, oh okay, good, what's Vaquero? Another big splash. Oh, but Matt Jackson rules out the way. Now Matt Jackson just stomping down Vaquero. Oh, Nick rallying, he thought his brother had it, but Vaquero able to counter again. Oh, Matt Jackson caught him, arm trap, swinging neck breaker. Into the cover on Vaquero Del Celio, one. Two, one count. Couldn't even get to two there. Couldn't even say two, man. Oh, and now Matt Jackson looking to follow up. Vaquero fights him off, punch to the ribs, though. Oh, and Vaquero with a single leg drop kick. Vaquero just jacked the jaw of Matt Jackson there. Tag out, in comes Buelo. Vaquero right now, the sucker punch there. Does not give him enough advantage though. And Buelo gets sent into the corner here by Matt Jackson. Matt now gonna spin him around. Matt Jackson with the wrist lock here. You know what's coming, we've seen this tons of times last year. Oh! I believe actually these two teams fought each other last year in NXT. Matt now gonna tag out, in comes Nick Jackson. So there's a bit of a history between these two teams. Oh, and a stomp to the side there. One. One count from Nick Jackson. Voilo able to kick out a one. Now Nick Jackson going to follow up elbows to the freaking face of Voilo. Nothing nice about that. Now Nick Jackson to the top rope here. Nick to the top rope. Moonsault. Moonsault off the top from Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson right now, what is he doing? Super kick! Oh man, he just super kicked Buelo's face off. Oh, and now he sends Buelo into the corner of the Bucks. And firm control, this one tags out. It's gonna send him to Matt. You can only assume they're going for one thing here. Looking for that Indy Taker. And, oh, Indy Taker to Buelo Corridor. Oh man, it's over. The Bucks have got this one. McQuarrie's gonna have to make the save. Two, three, and 
Buquero could not make the save. The Young Bucks are moving on to London. Like I said, the Young Bucks could have just stayed over there in freaking England because they're going to go right back here. <laughs> they're going right back because the Young Bucks just knocked off the Lucha Legends in an impressive match back and forth between the two. It started heating up there between the Lucha Legends and the Young Bucks. It started to get personal, but the Young Bucks able to pull through here and they have an opportunity to go to London and then they can either knock off the Welcome to Hell Nation or the Connection again, like they have in the past, then they will move on to get the chance to become four-time Tag Team Champions in the UWA. Already three-time NXT Champions is the Young Bucks. Too sweet me if they get to four. In the West right here, we're gonna check this out again. Nick Jackson with that super kick. Boom! And then right there, the Indy Taker. A bit of a better angle there for you guys. Indy Taker from the Young Bucks, their go-to finish. And just like that, Matt and Nick with the W there. One, two, and three. The player's not making a save tonight. And the Young Bucks now throwing up the two sweets. Now they can only hope their boy Kenny Omega can pull up the win now next as he will be going head to head with the Pure Mayhem champion. Freaking Randy Orton, the sadistic son of a bitch. The Bucks just won their match, but uh, <laughs> Kenny's going to have fun with his. As Like I said, he's about to go in action next against none other than the sadistic son of a bitch, your current Pure Mayhem champion, Randy Orton, who will be returning to action just two weeks out from what happened to him at Revival when he went head-to-head -head with El Diablo to close the show, and that was an intense fight, that's for sure, that was very intense, Diablo would end up knocking him off with the Devil's Trident, same finish that was going to happen at Summer Showdown until Xander came out and cost Diablo that match, and now Diablo has a guaranteed spot in the Ring Warriors tournament along with the Navajo Nightmare, the Pride of the Pride, Chief Graham. And right now, Kenny Omega is looking to impress and possibly get in that tournament too. And he is going head to head with the sadistic son of a bitch, Randy Orton, here tonight. Try to get an opportunity. I'm looking for someone, for one final person to impress me get that other spot to fight Chief Graham in round one in this tournament, but now out comes the sadistic son of a bitch, Randy Orton. And this song says that you best believe he hears voices in his head, but uh, the, the voices are not ones that uh, his opponents want to hear, because the voices tell Orton to dismantle dysfunction and kill, decimate his opponents, and that's what Randy Orton does. I'm sure that's what, I'm sure that's where he got the idea to take out Nick Richards and practically just get handed the Pure Mayhem Championship. Orton is now a former Pure Mayhem champ, uh, your Pure Mayhem champion, as well as a two-time former Universe champion, a former European champion, and a former Intercontinental champion. 
Randy Orton is a five-time champion in the UWA. That is, what, one reign behind GMT now, I believe? Maybe two? The sadistic son of a bitch. My point that I'm making is Randy Orton is the second most decorated superstar in the UWA, possibly the face of the universe. This man is the sadistic son of a bitch and no one can take that away from him. No one can take away that accolade. Randy Orton is the man of mayhem. He is the poster boy of this show. He is the sadistic son of a bitch. And Mr. Cena rings the bell. We're going to get this matchup underway. Kenny Omega right now, like I said, has his hands full. Randy Orton with the go behind now. And Omega takes him down to the mat here. Kenny Omega has got to be careful. He cannot let Randy Orton school him like this. Omega powers up. Go behind now by Kenny Omega. Omega now with the back wrist lock here. Oh, and Orton pulls him down over his head. They're right into a seated chin lock and drives a knee into the spine of the cleaner. Randy Orton right now with control. And that first lockup, but now Orton setting him up for a neck breaker here. Orton right now is in firm control of the cleaner. Oh, the Bucks just got a huge win for their little faction known as the Elite. Can Kenny Omega do the same and get the win here tonight? No, but it's not looking too good for Omega so far as Orton's just picking apart the limbs of the cleaner. Jeez. Omega just getting his face stomped in now. Triangle chokehold here by Randy Orton. Oh, geez, if he's locking Mundo in a submission hold here, he could beat Mundo come London. But Omega, he's not going to beat Omega here tonight. We seen Mundo tap out last week to Nitro. Nitro caught Mundo off guard after returning to action, and that would end up costing him. Now Omega, no, oh, right after the arm of the sadistic son of a bitch. Omega to the top rope, what the hell is Kenny doing? Kenny calling up the sadistic son of a bitch, Randy Orton. What is Omega looking for? Orton throws him off the top though. Omega took too much time and Orton, Orton just took advantage of that. Now Orton just wrenching on the neck of the cleaner. Now attacking the arms of Omega is Orton. And Orton just continuing on the neck here of Kenny Omega. The crowd is not happy right now here in Providence, Rhode Island because Orton is just picking apart their favorite here, the cleaner. Now Orton into the cover. Like I said, I've never liked Randy Orton, but I have gave him credit and I did maybe cheer for him at Revival. I'm going to be honest, but he was fighting Diablo. So I mean, come on. Oh, and Omega with a shot to the ribs there of Orton. Running neck breaker from the cleaner. Kenny Omega now, now gonna return the favor here on Orton. Now Kenny Omega ringing on the neck here of the sadistic son of a bitch, Randy Orton. The cleaner returning the favor here. Now Omega, Omega went to follow up away. Orton sweeps the legs from out from under Omega. Now into the cover here. One, two. Not sure that was a two either. Wasn't able to say two. I think that's how it should just be uh, determined. If I wasn't able to get, if I wasn't able to say two myself, it wasn't a two. Orton now just wrenched on the neck again of Omega. He's just cranking at that neck of Kenny. Oh, which we know Kenny's had problems with his head over the past few weeks due to what Graham had been doing doing over the past few months. And now, oh geez, oh, that's probably how he forgot the Young Bucks. Wasn't all there in the head <laughs> as of late. But right there, rope on DT, and now Orton gloating here to the crowd. The sadistic son of a bitch knows he's in control. Oh, geez, now Orton prone here, waiting for Omega to get up to his feet. Okay, oh! And he just slithers into the cover. One, two, three. And just like that, Randy Orton making a statement here in dominant fashion does Orton. Orton just shut up Omega, that's for sure. We're going to see back here just wrenching on the neck here half this match. Working over the head of Omega. So it's clearly smart because it paid out to his favor here. 
chaos in his favor, I should say. Orton sweeps the legs of Omega there. Then he would drop into the cover for a one. That's barely a two. I don't even know if that was a two. And then right there, the rope punk DDT from the sadistic son of a bitch. And then it would all lead up right there to the RKO. That was a quick match. That did not last too long. So Orton was able to knock him off fairly quickly. He's like that's a sadistic son of a bitch that he is able to do that in just two weeks time and London Orton will retain his pure mayhem championship. Okay guys, and we're back with the last bit of Rising Stars action here before your main event as Brian Myers is about to go head to head with The Miz. Gotta wonder how high, how happy The Miz is right now. No! Thanks to the big guy coming back and it seems like he's 100% again. Thankfully, I know I'm happy. So The Miz is too. Of course, The Miz, like The Miz, my buddy too. Oh, and I'm float over neck breaker there from The Miz. Mike the Miz right now going one on one with Brian Myers. He just slamming Myers head into the man. I mean that's one way to do it. I mean, geez. <laughs> uh, the Miz right now is uh, not being very nice. This guy's looking to impress towards that Rising Star title picture as we go towards WrestleVerse. Here just over a month away. Brian Myers right now is going to look to return the favor here to The Miz. Uh, neck snapper. They're from the Prince of Queens. Now Brian Myers right up to the leg there of The Miz. Of course, still to come out of the stound, we'll go one-on-one -on -one with Austin Aries to decide the number one contender in London. That is going to be an interesting matchup between Aries and uh, Adam Astounding. Don't believe they've ever won one-on-one -on -one before. Oh, and right here you see The Miz going right after those legs, working with the legs of the Prince of Queens, Brian Myers. Is he going to be forced to tap here? The Miz has already put a lot of punishment on him, man. No, Myers fighting out of it. The Prince of Queens fights out. Big right hand to the jaw there of The Miz. He's going to say head, but that was just straight to the jaw. Now Brian Myers sends him off the ropes here. Myers went to follow up. Miz counters through. No, run through neck breaker there from The Miz. Miz went to follow up. Brian Myers counters elbow to the face. And the Prince of Queens with a Pele kick. Had plenty of Rising Stars matches here tonight, guys. Trying to get this Rising Stars division situated here before Wrestleverse. No, and a snapmare into a big boot there from The Miz and a kick to the back of Brian Myers. The Miz right now has been in firm control the majority of this match on Brian Myers. Miz to the top rope. He's calling up the Prince of Queens. What is he doing? Oh, diving axe handle there from the Miz. Miz now into a cover here. One, two. Brian Myers out at two. Miz right now is whooping Brian Myers' ass though. Now going to take time to gloat in the corner. I'm not sure how smart that is. Uh, Myers is back up to his feet, buddy. Oh, now Brian Myers sends the Miz over the ropes. Oh boy, now pulling him in between the top and the middle rope here is the Prince of Queens. No! Just hung him out to dry there. And Brian Myers, now Myers into the cover. One, two, one count. I do believe Miz's foot was under the ropes too. I don't think Mr. Cena caught that though. Oh, knee lift there from Brian Myers. Oh, and the Miz! The Miz not playing around. Just took out the knee there of the Prince of Queens. No, oh, and now just raking on the face of Brian Myers. No, oh, went to knee him in the back. Myers, though, trying to get up very slowly here as his knee just got blown out. No, oh, and then a kick to the back from Brian Myers. 
May cost him, though, using his legs and his offense at any point here. May cost him after Miz just blew out his fucking knee. And now Brian Myers with that flatliner. It's the move that got him multiple wins on Draven Cross, man. Now Brian Myers backing up into the corner. He's looking to beat the Miz here. He's calling for that spear. No, oh, spear from the Prince of Queens. It's been a minute since we've seen him do that. One, two, three. And just like that, Brian Myers picks up the win over the Miz. Prince of Queens impressing here tonight. Brian Myers with the W. Looking to get himself back. And the Rising Stars title picture here with Brian Myers. Pressing me right there, that big win. He is coming right there. Miz blew out his fucking knee. But that had little no effect on Brian Myers. He, he was able to come back into this and hit him with this big running spear here out of the corner. It's been a minute since we've seen him do that. Last time we've seen him do that, he was fighting Isaac Sidetrack for number one contendership back at WrestleVerse last year. Well, he's right again the, uh, right again the battle roll, I'd say. Nonetheless, Brian Myers picks up the win tonight. Now time to be in the main event. Moving on to the main event of the call. Astounding Aries next. We've had plenty of rising star action here tonight, but now it's time for our main event, which is going to be for number one contendership towards Hammerstone's championship come London. And then it's going to be between the two men who upset the guys that were going towards the title. Last week it's Evan Morris and Jerry Jets. Adam Astounding was able to knock off Jerry Jets. Evan Morris was knocked off by Austin Aries. Well, tonight here in your main event of Mayhem, this is the first time ever, I believe, that the Rising Stars are main event in an episode of Mayhem. Nonetheless, Adam Astounding is about to go head-to-head -head with none other than Austin Aries to decide that spot. And, of course, in London, the main event of the show will be the Rising Star Championship match with Hammerstone. We'll go head-to-head -head with one of these two guys. We seen him in action earlier tonight. Picked up a huge win over Marcus Hellendry, the newest guy to the Rising Stars division. And of course, also at the show, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one match between Evan Morris and Jerry Jets. Huge rematch, round three between the two. And the winner of that match will go on to Wrestleverse to take on the champion that walks out of Lost in London which could be one of these two men, or Hammerstone. Now the huge card on that, in that in London, man. We're gonna have that. We're gonna have pure mayhem title match between the sadistic son of bitch, Randy Orton, and of course, Johnny Mundo. We're also going to have a tag titles number one contendership match between the Young Bucks and either or Welcome to Hell Nation or The Connection. We will find that out next week. This is going to be a stacked freaking card. The big guy is going to go one on one in his rematch with Bully Ray's bitch ass. It is going to be an extremely awesome card in London. And the crowd's ready for their main event here tonight. Rising star action, main eventing mayhem. This should be great. Oh, and Adam starts the match off with a big spine buster. It looked like Aries was looking for a walk-up. Adam said, fuck your walk-up. And right now, he's just stomping away on the knees of Austin Aries. Guess we're not only trying to decide who's the number one contender, we're also trying to decide who's the rightful A-double. <laughs> Oh wait, and Aries blocks the suplex. 
No, oh, and Aries able to overpower Adam, astounding there and hit a suplex of his own. Now it's Aries' turn to stomp out Adam. Stu just going back and forth right now. Crowd's fired up here for this match here in Providence, Rhode Island. Elbow to the back of the neck. Went for a drop kick. Adam Astounding blocks it. Kick to the midsection. Oh, oh. That was interesting there from Adam. Oh, and Aries turned right around into another spine buster from Adam Astounding. Adam Astounding is looking astounding here so far. Let's think about the career of Adam Astounding this year. He went from being in a mediocre tag team and wreckage to his tag team bar to turn it on him. Oh, and now him being in the main event of Mayhem for number one contendership towards Hammerstone's title. And right there, Dragon Screw from Adam Astounding. Aries has already been to the well one time, though, for that Rising Stars Championship. Oh, and a big chop there, the chest area of Austin Aries, double hand chops there. No, oh, and Adam Astounding just spears Aries to the floor on the outside here. Adam and Aries right now fighting for number one contendership towards Hammerstone. Oh, jeez, and Aries went shoulder first into that ring post. Oh, my God, and now Astounding's attacking the knee there of Aries. What? Oh, God, this is not going to be good. Oh, Aries able to block it there. Luckily enough, that might have saved his damn career, to be honest. No, arm trap swinging neck breaker there from Adam Astounding. Six count. These two need to get back in the fucking ring, not the barricade, you pinhead. Oh, back into the freaking post there goes Aries, courtesy of Adam Astounding. Jeez, and an eight count. Adam gets Aries back into the ring. How much punishment have these two already taken? Aries' face bounced off the damn ring post. Now Aries snaps and now he's looking to rake the eyes. No, oh, fingers in the eyes there of Adam Astounding. Big right hand turns him around. And oh boy, here we go. Vintage Austin Aries. No, oh, shin breaker into the back suplex from a double. Now Austin Aries to the middle rope here. No, oh, diving elbow to the face there from Austin Aries. Now a double rearrange of the face here. Adam stomped to the face from Austin Aries. A double now. Aries, oh jeez. That was a wicked looking stomp. And now Adams shot the legs though. Nice fireman's carry takedown from Adam Astounding. Now Astounding into the cover here. One. One count. Austin Aries out at one. This is for a shot to main event lost in London here. And Aries back up to his feet. Running neck breaker to Adam Astounding. It's going to rip Adam's head off. He's not careful here. Maybe that's what he wants though, frankly, I don't know. Austin Aries is kind of a jackass sometimes. He is the greatest man in the world. Uh, he is the greatest man that ever lived though. Now Aries rolls him out and attacking the arm of Adam Astounding. Oh geez, and now Astounding sweeps the legs of Austin Aries. Now Adam into the cover on Aries. One, one count. Aries out at one. Austin Aries not staying down here. Just think back to a few weeks ago when they're in that insane triple threat match with Stitches. That was an amazing match. Adam Astounding almost had the win twice there before Aries would come in, in the nick of time and save it. But you gotta assume that's no oh, irritating Adam Astounding. And Astounding just took his face off with a freaking knee drop. He's gonna need nose surgery after that shit. Oh, and now an elbow to the back of the neck. Adam Astounding is picking apart Austin Aries. Now Adam lifts him up. Adam going in for the kill now, I'd assume. Oh, geez, running power bomb into the cover. One, two, no, Aries out at two. Now what is Astounding doing here? Oh man, he went to follow up Austin Aries though. No, oh, drives him shoulder first into the rain canvas. Wait, a doubles calling him up. Austin Aries could be looking to finish it here. Oh my God, brain buster, brain buster. Oh geez, oh, brain buster out of nowhere into the cover. One, two, Adam out at two. Gotta assume Aries didn't do enough punishment yet to end it with the Brain Buster, even though that is the freaking Brain Buster. 
Oh, and Aries has had enough of this shit. He's putting his feet on the ropes now. Ref, Mr. Cena, Adam out at one. That's how much this match means to both guys. Now Aries, Aries, no, oh, plants him on his face with a DDT. Aries, you've got to assume any minute he wants now can go after that last chancery for the win. Aries, though, instead just deciding to pick apart Adam Astounding. That could cost him here. Adam with a counter shoulder tackle takedown from Adam Astounding. Astounding now rolls him over. What? What is Adam doing? He lifts up Aries. Oh, geez, Adam thinking go big or go home here. Oh my God, here we go. Slingshot Falcons arrow. No, off the ropes. Goes Aries. Adam, Adam has it here. One, two, three, and Adam astounding picks up the win. Holy shit, Aries just screwed himself out of that title opportunity there. By not thinking clearly, like I said, if he would have went for the last chance or it would have been over. You got Evan Morris with that last week in like five minutes. Last chance is devastating, dude. But nonetheless, Adam Astounding able to pick up the win here tonight at the end mayhem, man. I'm impressed with that. Adam Astounding now becomes the number one contender out of nowhere. Out of sheer luck there for Adam Astounding because last week he was able to get lucky and knock off Jerry Jets. Tonight he got smarter to Austin Aries and got the win. Holy shit. Adam Astounding will now go into London to compete with Hammerstone for the Rising Stars Championship. Incredible, de incredible defeat there for Adam Astounding. Holy shit. Now the question is, can he do it? Can he do it come, uh, come Thursday now, uh, in a week and a half? Can he freaking do it? Can he knock off Alexander Hammerstone for the Rising Star Championship? Adam Astounding with a huge win here tonight to close Mayhem. Oh boy, and here comes Hammerstone. This is going to be your matchup in London, guys.